Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Laser Turrets plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these three different types of turrets to defend your base or house or whatever you want. And in the future the developer says they're going to add more turrets and different kinds of them. But for the moment we've got these three awesome ones. Now the cool thing about this is it's highly customizable. You can see there's a mushroom cow over there that is walking around nonchalantly not being shot at by these turrets. Now if I put a normal cow down which is not on the blacklist, they are going to have a rather tough time and you can see they start beaming them immediately. And you can also add players to a blacklist. So if you want friends to come over to your base or house, they won't get attacked by these turrets. So the first thing we're going to look at is the command. So if we do LT help, that's going to show us all of the commands. Now what we can do to get the turrets, if you're an admin, is the LT give command. Now there's three different types as I mentioned, so we can just go ahead and repeat this two additional times. And what we need to do is just right click them on the block that we want to place them. And then they will do a cool little animation and land on the top. And you can see there is a nice um, bit of information on top of it. So they all start at health 100 and level 1, however you can see over here the health decreases over time as they get used and then higher levels have more health to start with. What we can do is actually right click one of these turrets and have a look to see what's in here. So on the right we can upgrade them, you can see it shows you how the range increases, how the damage increases and how the health increases as well. If you have 750 coins you can do that and then 1000 coins to do the second upgrade to level 3 and that will get you to max level. Now it's not your normal balance, it's actually coins that are in the plugin. So if we do LT and then currency, we can give myself, for example, a thousand coins. Now I have 5,000 and obviously I could upgrade both of these as well to level three. Now the other button in the GUI is the turret allies. This is very handy. So you can either go onto the player blacklist and you can see I'm on here. So if we go into mobs, we can add or change the blacklist. So if we go add mob, we can go through the pages and maybe add a panda because we don't want them to get hurt. And then if I were to spawn a panda, they are not going to be attacked by that turret but the other ones aren't going to be particularly happy that they are wandering about. So we can actually edit them a little bit more if we do the LT menu command. So this brings up an additional GUI, it has a few things in here. So it lists all your specific turrets and if you were to lose one for example you can actually teleport to it which is handy. So let's have a look at the settings menu. So we can either do LT menu and then click the anvil down here or we can do LT settings. It will take you to the same page um, and then you can edit the specific settings of each type of turret. So if we go to the arrow turret for example, we can go to the level menu. So in here what you can do is enable or disable the lasers. So as you saw there was that red beam coming out of them, you can get rid of that. And then you can set the turret's range for level 1, level 2 and level 3. And you can do the same thing for loot. So when it's destroyed, what is it going to drop? The amount of health it's going to have. So you could increase that to maybe 200 for level 3 if you wanted and then the damage the laser does. And then there's a few other ones, so you can do the LT buy command and then an arrow turret for example, and that will cost you $500. Or you can do LT shop to see them in the shop window and you can see they're also $500 here. So there's two more commands we're gonna look at. We've got the LT take command. Now all of these string of IDs are the different turrets, so we can pick one at random and that will take it away from where it is. You can't actually remove it otherwise. And then you could obviously replace it if you wanted to. And then you could also remove it using the same command and the same ID, like so. And that would delete it. So that's how it works in game. As you can see, it's super easy to customize and it works fantastically. It's a very cool plugin. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. You can see there is a settings.yml. So in here, there's a few things we can change. So the holograms above the turrets, I think these are pretty cool. Same with the action bar, you can disable this if you wanted to. And then should the turrets be damageable, you should probably set that to true so they're just not you know, invincible. And then currency settings, do you want to use vaults? So yes or no, or do you want to use the inbuilt currency system? So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. And you can see if you've got enough turrets, you can defend the whole area from tons of mobs, which is very, very cool. And there's so many different features. But if you do need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.